In this video, we will look at actually installing the tool. Make sure that you read the warnings and that you get proper teacher instruction. We're going to use this release button when we're installing the tool. There is another button that you can press on the controller, the tool release button. Uh, that is an alternative, but we will be using this one. There is a pinch point that you need to be very cautious of right here, so you don't want to be grasping the tool too high up. You want to have it down below. Um, and of course, if there is a tool, a cutter in the tool holder, you want to be holding it with a rag. So I'll be pressing that button that will actuate the tool. You need to make sure that the that you have a good grip on the tool before you press that button to release it. It may have some weight and it will drop down. If you just press the button, it's just going, going to drop. And it'll fall out and smash and nobody's gonna be happy. There's a drive groove, drive dog groove on the tool holder. You need to make sure that that is lined up with the drive dog on the spindle. So if we just reverse our action of taking the tool out, we line up the drive dog, hold that button, press up on the tool a little bit, release the button and the tool is installed. It's installed in whatever pocket is active. So right now number one is active, so this would be tool number one. Again, to, re to release it, make sure you have a good grip on it, release it, and then you've got your tool out. You need to make sure those drive dog and the drive groove are lined up, because on this machine it will clamp it without them being lined up, but you're going to have a real bad time if you leave the tool like that. Make sure that it is lined up and that is installing a tool in that mini mill.